Hi, my name is Dennis Babich and I'm founder and CEO at DBT Limited. This video would be helpful for you if you want to make an app like Uber and this business model. Uh, you could also use it if you want to develop an app for motorbikes, buses, cleaners, etc. Okay, let's get the ball rolling. Uber's business model contains three separate elements. The first element is a passenger app, which helps them choose the destination. On the other side, you have the driver's apps that helps receive client requests. And lastly, we have the admin app, web app, which helps to manage driver's registration, disputes, payments, etc. Okay, let's have a look at the passenger app that has a lot of different functions, such as registration, matching, payments, map, etc. I've added all of them on the table, so you could be upfront about how many hours approximately your software engineers would need. Driver's app is a completely different animal, which has a lot of unique functions, such as driver clocking on and clocking off process, search a passenger algorithm, road creation, road estimation, and so on. All of these functions get to be connected with the passenger app logic and the admin zone. Taking a look from an admin role. Imagine that your service is used by thousands of drivers and passengers around the globe. So for these needs, you would need definitely a transparent system which would help you identify what's going on. Adding new drivers to the platform, manage disputes between drivers and passenger payments and other related features. Over time, my team and I have researched how to make an app such as Uber, and nobody includes things like testing, management, and risks. So on this table, you could find development hours, rates, and final prices of the app. One of the things that I would like to highlight is how you could save up to 60% on the development. So if you have an investor and a contract where you need to have an in-house development team, then you should take a look at the US and you cost associated with this and realize that you could save up to 60% by developing product, for instance, in Ukraine. Global companies such as Samsung, Rakuten, Viber, Volvo, Adobe, Hewlett Packard, Barclays, Mercedes, Just Eats, Citibank are already have their software development teams in Ukraine. I know that these numbers may scare you, but one of the things that you should know is that you could always create a minimum viable version of your product and invest up to 50 grand, which sounds more affordable, right? Anyhow, so if you don't have an experience how to make a mobile app like Uber, then I've prepared for you a simple 11-step guide, which would help you get a better understanding what kind of simple things you need to do. First of all, you need to prepare a Lean Canvas table, which would help you turn your idea into detailed business plan. Well, at the beginning of your startup, you don't think about things like uh, what's your unique value proposition, what's your unfair advantage, who would be your early adopters, what kind of metrics you're planning to measure at the early stage, uh, who are your customers and what kind of problems do they have, how will your product solve these pro issues and problems, who are your competitors, what business and user flow they're using in their products, how do they do marketing? Should you really reinvent the wheel or you should copy something from your competitor and save a lot of time and resources? Answering this question will help you identify weaknesses in your startup and find solution before you start developing your product. Another really powerful tool is a value proposition table, uh, which is a continuation of a Lean Canvas table. With a value proposition scheme, you would be able to identify your customer pains, such as need, value of your product, because this is a heart of your business. This stage of preparation should be done perfectly, as it affects uh, whether people will use your product, renew their subscription and recommend it to their friends or not. All these things may sound a bit complicated, so if you have any questions, please drop them into the comments down below and I'll try to provide answers to all of your questions. And click like and subscribe button and don't forget this ring bell button uh, if you want to find this uh, video useful for you. Let's continue. 
A well-known fact that 70% uh, of the advertisement budget is non-effective and only 30% is really useful. So by doing detailed analysis of your competitors, you would be able to identify how they're getting their clients, what kind of keywords they're using, what advertisement campaigns really work, and that would help you make a proper marketing and advertising campaign with practices that really works. You know what? All great artists copy the art that inspires them. Companies like Uber are always creating innovative new solutions. They're always making changes and iterations in their products until they find a really perfect user flow. They invest millions of dollars from a user behavior of the using of the app flow. By doing a user flow research, you would be able to, to save yourself a tons of money. Lyft came to the market after Uber and you know what? They have not reinvented the wheel. They just take a simple four-step flow and implement that. That's it. So simple. The strategy gives you an opportunity to concentrate on your powerful idea and make it stronger without wasting your time on a flow that already exists. So, looking ahead to story mapping. This is a great tool which would help you to describe your user flow and functions. For instance, if uh, we are creating a passenger flow, then uh, we would identify via increment what functions are really important for us and what's not. Do you need a Facebook or Google registration on the first iteration? No, you don't. Simple registration via mobile phone would be more than enough. Now, moving on to the wireframes. By creating proper wireframes, you could identify problems in your flow. What kind of things you are missing, for instance, if passenger payment fails, what should happen, or if they left their wallet in the car. So by creating wireframes, you are providing answers to all of these questions, because visualization of your story mapping flow gives you a really powerful tool to see each small detail. Life hack. When you are planning the design stage, you could use Dribble or Behance as the design references. Because they have a lot of great designs that you could find inspiration for, a style that invigorates you. So you could take this forward to your designer. This could save you valuable time and resources. Ok, let's talk about UI. The design should be modern, simple and intuitive. If you notice, there is only one accent in the Uber interface within a single screen, one bright button that simulates the user to take a targeted action. Uber's app has a really complex architecture. All user data in the app must be secured. So your technical partner should develop a proper application architecture, identify third-party services such as Stripe for payments, Twilio for SMS, Google Maps for map services, among others and make the app which would be uh, able to maintain high load and make it scalable. You should always follow the agile process, because that would help you get better understanding of what's going on on a project and it will make you really flexible. So you would be able to make a pivot really easily when you will receive a market feedback. Uber has done exactly this. They had a concept developing their first product, found early adopters, measured results and got feedback from their customers. And they repeat this process many times until they understand that they are ready and what their market really needs, proving their product market fit. After all of this, you shouldn't overlook the importance of the analytics. Analytics tools such as Mixpanel, SessionStack, Google Analytics, Firebase are allowing you to measure the number of visits, user behaviors, monitor and analyze user sessions, etc. All these tools would help your business make the right decision regarding the software development process and allow you to have a real-time health check on your product service. That's it! All right. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like and su subscribe to the channel. And if you want to make an app similar to Uber, feel free to book a 15 minutes call with me and we would be able to discuss your idea and uh, perhaps have an obligation-free business plan workshop. See you!